Let's get the Fire HD 10 up and running. I'll press and hold the power button for a few seconds to turn it on. That brings us to the Choose My Language screen. If you notice at the bottom of the screen, you can change the size of the text on the screen if you want to. I'll tap English United States in my case. Then I'll press the blue arrow at the bottom of the screen. Next, it will ask me to connect to Wi-Fi. I'll select my Wi-Fi network and then enter the password. Then I'll tap Continue. It will show me that we are now connected to the right network on the list. Then it will ask me to enter my Amazon password to set up the tablet. I'll tap on the empty field, which will bring up the keyboard, and then I'll type in my password. Next, I will tap above the keyboard to hide it, and then tap Sign In. This registers the tablet. Then it will bring up a screen where I can choose if I want to enable or disable location services, auto save photos and videos, and save Wi-Fi passwords to Amazon. I'll leave all of these checked and then tap continue. Then you can watch a video called Meet Your Fire Tablet. It teaches you some tablet basics. The next screen we'll get to is the Create a Child Profile screen. This is a good option if you are giving this tablet to a child and want to limit their screen time or block app purchases, for example. I'll tap Not Now, then Continue. Next, you can set a screen lock. So if you're not using your tablet and the screen locks, the only way that you can get back in is by entering a PIN or a password. It's a good security measure. I'll tap Not Now. Then it will ask me if I want to partake in Goodreads. In a nutshell, Goodreads is the world's biggest community for book lovers. It's basically a good way to find books, read book reviews, and rate books yourself. I'll tap Not Now. Then it asks if you want to try a free trial of Audible. Audible is an Amazon company that sells and produces spoken audio content. I'll tap No Thanks. Then it asks if you want to partake in Kindle Unlimited with a free trial. It's an Amazon subscription service for getting books, audiobooks, and magazines on your Amazon device. I like all of these services, but I'll tap No Thanks just to keep this tutorial moving. The next screen tells me that since I'm an Amazon Prime member, I already have access to books and videos, and I can add them to this device. I'll tap Not Now. The next screen suggests some free apps and games that I can download right away, which is great, but for this video, I'll just tap Not Now. Then we come to a screen that tells you that you can control your tablet using your voice using Amazon's virtual assistant, Alexa. I'll tap Continue. Then I will enable Alexa by tapping Enable Alexa. Then you can practice asking Alexa a question. Remember to always say Alexa first, like, Alexa, what's the weather? The current weather is 36 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Today, you can look for lots of clouds, with a high of 38 degrees and a low of 34 degrees. I'll tap the circle at the bottom of the screen. I'll tell you what that does later. Then tap Continue. The next screen we get to allows you to customize hands-free settings. If you enable hands-free, you can access Alexa even if your tablet is locked. I'll leave these settings at their default for now and just tap Finish to finish setting up the tablet. Well, I hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.